Um, obviously, really uh, tough outing. I thought we our guys got up to a good start and uh, just weren't able to sustain it. I think their depth and their quickness and strength kind of took its toll. Uh, Hawk has played tremendous. Uh, Bono dominated the game defensively, which is a prime, very impressive 9.3 rebound, three block game. Um, but uh, when we had we had some highlights in there, but uh, just, you know, sometimes you have to give credit where credit's due, and they, they were the better team and played really well tonight. If you have questions for Coach, please use the raise hand action. It looks like we've got Colton Clark on the line, and go ahead, Colton. Uh, that kind of game changing run they had, uh, you know, sort of in, you know, within striking distance and they go on that 13 0 run midway through the second half. What what you kind of sense was the, the the main issue with the offense there? You know what? Uh, they're capable of doing that. And, you know, not I put a I put a drama in a bad spot. It was a seven point game. We need to get Mo a blow. And, uh, you know, thinking, you know, he's our probably our best defender. I thought he'd be able to maybe force some turnovers or block some shots like he normally does. And he just, I, sh I should have called a timeout about the first trip down the floor. And I just didn't, when it got seven to 12, I don't, and then we just couldn't, uh, it, we we're just a little flat, a little tired. And I just think their, their will kind of, they trumped us a little bit. We just didn't have another, another run in us and they're, they're too good to get down that much, but seven we're in there. Um, thought we had to buy some minutes there and it's been good for us, you know, all the time, but AD obviously not, not healthy enough to, to do it, but thought it was a chance for us to have quickness that match their quickness on the floor. Did you, you know, shorthand on the road, uh, trading runs for a while. Did it feel like you, you guys kind of, you know, had, had run out of gas a little bit at that point? Probably. And then we were going to need, we have seven, seven and a quarter scholarship guys. I mean, AD, I give him a quarter, you know, what is, you know, he's been such an energy giver for us and that, and he just didn't have it. So to beat that team, we're going to have to go seven for seven. You know, we're going to have to play, you're going to have to guys are going to have to play above and beyond a little bit. And I thought it was good. TJ was really competing. Uh, I think Andre did too, to be honest. He had a couple second half Bona, really made a couple of impressive defensive plays that got Andre to uh, turn it over, throw up a bad shot, but he, he competed well and Justin competed well. And uh, you know, Mo, Mo's got to be the best player for us to be, to win that game. He's going to have to be one of the best players on the floor and, you know, credit to them. They, they, they really were physical with him um, and uh, really bothered his, his post moves, bothered some of his shots and um, you know, coming off the tough loss we had on Thursday, just didn't have enough. Uh, what is it about, you know, Hawkes and, and, and what he does that, that makes him really tough to defend? He's got a huge motor. He's just uh, – he is good athlete, better athlete I think people suspect because he's so quick to the ball. Good in, he's got – he's good athlete, good instincts, tough, um, just significantly uh, tougher than most. You know, one of the toughest players. And he's old. And, uh, you know, to be able to get five offensive rebounds, 14 rebounds, you're, you're, you're a pretty good athlete in a Division One game, much like, you know, high major game. I don't care who you're playing against, that, but 24 and 15, he's, he's just a tough hombre. And, and with some of the turnovers, uh, do you see – were you seeing dangerous passes on your guys' end, or is it some of the – is that kind of what UCLA does is getting in, into those lanes and tipping them? You know, it's what they do. And we, like I said, we are pretty good early and they were, I thought we were really prepared. And like I said, we were getting good shots. Um, and then, you know, we went to the bench and Kamani, this first run out there, he turned it over twice and he's a little jittery probably. Um, he played well after that, I thought, even though he didn't score, I thought he had four assists, four rebounds, and he guarded pretty well. But that's all it takes there is just to get you a little, because we were winning, then we got a little off culture, weren't getting shots. And, uh, that that little stretch of turnovers there midway through the first half kind of dug a hole that we couldn't uh went 30 to 20. Um that we just couldn't really, you know, you're, you're gonna have to bury some shots and keep keep grinding, but we weren't able to. Oh, I didn't realize we shot it that bad. It wasn't pretty. Yeah, not good. And when you don't have a you know, DJ and Darling out there, and obviously a drama not playing at full capacity. You know, what what are you lacking when those guys aren't there? Foot speed, quickness. 
um, makes it hard. We're, you know, we had to play a lot of zone and uh, I thought we had moments, stretches there where it's good. We turned them over and then they had some stretches where they, you know, um, what they were, they were nine for 22 from three. That's, that's too good. And Hawkins is a guy that doesn't normally, hasn't been shooting it uh, that well from three. Um, you know, their best shooter, Singleton. And he, he went two for four and we gave up one and darn out of bounds. But, uh, you know, they shot it well enough. So it was almost hopefully going to got to make a miss and, and then try to rebound out thing we weren't able to.